Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, today's video. Um, I basically wanted to talk to you guys about what it's like to live with a mental health condition. Um, I myself, I've got depression. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so, we'll begin. So, what's it like to live with mental health issues? Simple. It's hard. Not going to lie. Mental health itself comes in various forms, um, like depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, um, borderline personality disorder, and even they have varying different forms. Now, <clears throat> this video is going to be all about how I suffer and have suffered with depression. Now, for me personally, it's been so difficult. I mean, I genuinely believe that my struggle started after my grandfather died. <clears throat> uh, he was pretty much my best friend. You know, not just my grandfather. He understood the person that I was back then. Obviously, I'm a completely different person now. And at the ta at that particular time, I got better. Went into high school, made friends. You know, like you do when you're an 11, 12, 13 year old. But that was only the start of things. Uh, at the age of 17, I met my current partner. You know, we got together, you know, we you know, got engaged and then six, seven years down the line we split up, got with other people, you know how it goes. So then in came my first lesbian relationship. Now people who know me know that that has been that has in my life so the first two years of this relationship you know, it was brilliant and yeah it was amazing you know all that all things that go with a relationship and then after the first two years <sighs> hell on earth hell on earth guys I was being controlled in this relationship you know she was telling me that I couldn't spend time with my best friend hi you know to the point where myself and my best friend fell out and you know we didn't speak for about two years and this particular girlfriend was also beating me up as well and yeah it was pretty fu it was pretty fucking crap and you know she half the time she was beating me up for no reason and at one time she pretty much told me to get over myself because I was still incredibly depressed over myself and my current partner splitting up. You know? It was messy. It was messy. Let's just leave that there. It was messy. So, this then made my depression a lot worse. To the point where I was actually suicidal. I wanted to die. That relationship finally, thank God, ended. Four years of being controlled and abused was done. So I then find myself, oh, buff, at this point in 2017, in yet another lesbian relationship but this one completely different this one was doomed from the start 
only this time for completely different reasons. Again, you know, being controlled. I was having to do cooking, cleaning, childcare. Yeah, you know, that is where the difference is. There was a child involved this time. You know, and I had moved from, you know, my hometown in all the way to England to be with her and the child. Yeah, you know, and that when that relationship ended or the way it ended was at the point where I had been pushed to a mental breakdown. Yeah, I was then taken to hospital to be assessed because she had sent me absolutely crazy. And this particular girlfriend, a couple of week, two or three weeks beforehand, um, I had to talk out of talk her out of committing suicide because she had got it into her head that her two kids would be better off without her. Yeah, go figure, peeps. So, I came home. I came back to Wales. You know, where I'm now, you know, I'm in a better place mentally, emotionally, you know, actually financially as well. You know, but that just goes to show that, you know, same-sex relationships don't always work. You know, and I'm in a better place mentally and emotionally because I'm, I'm medicated. You know, I, I'm not saying that medication is a means to an end with mental health, but it does help a lot. It really does, guys. So, which brings me on to now. After the best part of 10 years not being together, my current partner and I are now back together, living together, which for us is amazing. You know, we've both got mental health issues. I have depression. He has nervous depression and anxiety. And, you know, we support each other. You know, it's... You know, supporting each other is not about, like, talking about things, you know, getting help. You know, sometimes supporting somebody is not always about medication either. You know, it's sometimes just being in the same room as somebody is enough. Yeah, you know, everyone, you know, and this is the message that I am sending out here today. Everybody who has mental health issues is a warrior. You know, you find ways to survive. You know, it's not just how, you know, tough you are, how brave you are, you know, because of what you've been through or what you're going through here and now. It's about finding ways to get through that daily struggle with your own brain because that's all mental health is and I've had this explained to me by a nurse mental health is a chemical imbalance in your brain so that so basically if you have medication that will help like steady out that that chemical imbalance in your brain and this is the uh, that is the end of what I have to say about mental health issues uh, coming up on the channel we will have a video all about what it's like to live with Tourette syndrome which I have um, and if there are any other topics that you want me to talk about or anything that you feel that you can give me information to help me understand to talk about then leave it in the comment section below and if 
you like what you've seen click the subscribe button down here and if you like this video click the like button which will be down there and um i think that's everything i've got to say on this so if you like the channel if you like what i've said like comment subscribe and i will speak to you guys again bye bye now